everyone, welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we do not have an unboxing. I know, you probably got a little bit excited there, but we do not have an unboxing because if you can see from the image on the box, I've already unboxed this painting, which I will, of course, link up in the eye over there or over there or somewhere up top there. It will pop out at you. Um, this, I wanted to show you guys because I get a lot of questions about Miss Coffee. What do you do with your paintings when you don't immediately hang them up on the wall? Now, for you guys that are new to my channel, hey, I'm Miss Coffee. When I am done with a kit, if it doesn't go immediately back up on my wall, I put it up the same way that it came to me. So if it was, say, something from AliExpress or a company that doesn't ship their canvases in a box, I will hang, hang it up on a pant hanger or a trouser hanger. You can get the little cheap plastic trouser hangers from like Walmart. You can actually go to Walmart or any clothing store and ask them for trouser hangers or pant hangers and they'll happily give you a ton of them. Um, I will usually hang it from the hanger and put it in my closet. But if it comes in a box, I will put it back in the box that it originally came in. Why? Because it keeps it protected and I can store the box with the other boxes that are completed. So for this one, which is White Tiger, I put it back in its box and then it's chilling out because I do have a frame coming for it next week. Next week. And I will have a framing video for this actual canvas. I was actually debating waiting to do this, but the frame won't be here until the middle of next week. And I just want to get this over with because if I don't, I'll forget or just get too lazy to do it. So yeah. So with that being said... I did complete White Tiger. Now, I completed White Tiger some time ago. And as you can see, even though it was rolled up in the box, it doesn't have any creases or anything, you know, damage or anything to it. You guys, this canvas. All right. So first, we're going to take an aerial view. So we're going to move you a little bit. So don't get sick on me, okay? Take an aerial view. I know a lot of people were complaining about the whiskers being pixelated, but I would like to see you draw 8-bit whiskers, okay? You know how hard it is to draw whiskers? Now, I was questioning questioning the blue in the canvas. But then when you step back, that blue is actually what gives it the depth. Depth. I can't talk today. It gives you the depth in the picture. Like, that looks like it's going to jet out and, like, attack me. Oh, my God. I would like to actually put this in front of my door for when people come in my house. I scare the crap out of them because that's just hilarious. So I was doing this kind of, it was kind of like a diamond paint along, but not really. It was just more of a relax. If you would like to work on this kit with me, let's do this. Now I'm going to tell you, if you worked on this kit, if you have completed this kit, because y'all already know, Papa has completed his. He got his shout out from Stitcherista. He had to message me and tell me, oh, I finished a kit before you. So I went game busters on this and finished it like two days after I finished Into Wonderland. Um, So... Working on this kit will test your patience. It is a beautiful image. They did an amazing job rendering this image, but the confetti was real, okay? I did hear someone say that they were having problems with their drills sliding. Now, I didn't have such issues on my kit, but that's not to say that the person didn't actually legit have that issue. If you do have an issue, again, with drill sliding on your canvas, I do have a video about diamond painting uh, on Pour Glue 101, which I will link, of course, up in the eye. Um, sometimes if your canvas hasn't cured all the way, if the glue is still uh, needing to be cured, you just let it sit for 45 minutes, to, uh, 30 to 45 minutes, and let it air dry, and it will stiffen that glue right on up so that you can work on it and the drills don't, like, decide to dance all over your canvas. So, I don't have any complaints with this kit. I was very shocked at the amount of trash I didn't have. Working on, what was it, Ender Wonderland, I didn't really have a whole lot of trash for the the fire, the symbols of heroism either. either. One day I will get my life together, y'all. Today is not that day, forgive me. Into Wonderland had a bit more trash than I would have liked to have seen. But then there was this kit. I rarely saw any trash. I didn't see as much as a knobbly bit in this kit, which is why I even said in that video for the post review for Into Wonderland that I think it was a fluke. I think they had a couple of bad bags that got put into that kit because there was hardly any trash from this kit. 
I don't know about anybody else that worked on this kit, but I barely had any trash in this kit. Not even enough that I could show you because Maggie threw it in the trash when I put the canvas away. So she was helping mommy. She helped. <laughs> but I, I honestly didn't have hardly any trash with the kit. The one thing I can say, I'm not sure what happened here. But don't worry. When we frame it, we'll take care of that. Um, I have a frame coming in the mail, hopefully this weekend for this kit. But I think the way uh, that they rendered it is amazing. I think it turned out very well. It looks very realistic, very 3D, which is why I can't wait to hang it. Because, of course, you guys already know Miss Cam Miss Coffee is going to canvas finish it. I have to. And, of course, I'm going to show you how to do it so you can do it to yours, too. But honestly, I had no issues with this kit. It worked up really quick. Um, once I got past that first burnout of black and white, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side of the image and then the actual thing. Amy Stewart did an amazing job drawing this, and Diamond Art Club did an amazing job rendering it. I know a lot of people had, you know, their reservations about the whiskers, but honestly, it is hard to do whiskers or anything that curls in 8-bit. When I say 8-bit, I mean like little squares, because... This is actually also not only is it a square, it's a partial, which is the first partial square I've ever seen. Um, so what makes it a partial is the fact that the black area around the tiger is not diamond painted. Only the tiger is diamond painted. And I think it's funny that it's called White Tiger and he looks gray. I just thought it was because I was colorblind and then Mr. Coffee mentioned it too. So I was like, okay, at least I know. So yeah, so I didn't have any issues with this kit. Worked up amazingly. If you would like to get your hands on this kit, it is currently sold out. I do apologize. Um, usually I don't put these videos up if the item is um, sold out. But you can always go and get it pre-ordered. And over on the Diamond Art Club site, which looks to have a little bit of a facelift, if you had noticed anything different about it. Um, if you go over to the site, I think there's a way you can pre-order your kit. And then they'll ship it out as soon as they get them back in stock. So you, that might be an option for you. Or they also have like the pay Klarna thing where you can pay installments. But with that said, folks, that's it for me. I wanted to come on and show you what it looked like completed and let you know I did complete it. And I wasn't just throwing it away again to work on another kit. So with that said, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and like to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I must really bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys. <laughs>